Holly, but my artist name is Ra and I'm a music artist. I started writing some lyrics for this track absolutely years ago. I was just looking at the things that we do as people that are quite contradictive and kind of questioning that. I just wanted to shine a light on it and not judge, but go, isn't it funny that we do that? You know, self, I mentioned like self-medication, it could be coffee, it could be drugs, it could be splits, whatever it is. It's just kind of making people question, am I doing that? Am, am I okay? Am, am I trying to distract myself from actually what's going on? You know, I talk about having like Pornhub on your phone and then, you know, having a girlfriend at home or a boyfriend at home. But ultimately the chorus in the song is kind of saying, we're gonna be all right, probably. Hopefully. But we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Okay. I'm hugely inspired by that kind of the same theme, to be honest. I'm inspired by what we're doing as people. And that's a constant, it just keeps giving that, that theme to me. I just find that fascinating. I'm kind of always looking for a bit of a, a deeper layer. Um, and so it's just people and the people around me and my own experiences really that are inspiring. I was born into a very musical family. Um, my mum was a renowned session singer, as was my dad. He was, you know, put together one of the first black boy bands of the 60s. I began session singing at like seven. My brothers are all musicians and producers, so it was absolutely normal for me to, to do this, to, to want to do it and to do it. And so, yeah, I've, I've, you know, I've had some amazing opportunities. I've worked with some incredible people. I'm used to gigging and I do, I do backing vocals for various people. I work with Dave Stewart a lot for New Rhythmics. I work in Liam Gallagher's band, I'm touring a lot. And it's hard to kind of get home and focus on your stuff. So one thing actually that the pandemic has given is the time and the space to nurture and, and get these tracks down properly. Um, and that's what I'm doing, that's what I've been doing. I've been putting together my first EP, which is great. I'm really excited about it. So one of the producers on the EP, I'm working with a, a woman called Gloria Cabo, who's out in New York, and it was important for me because she's female and she's black, and that is just so underrepresented in that area of music, you know. So I'm really mindful now when I bring people in um, to be making sure that I'm inclusive and I'm, I'm changing things in a little way, you know. We just wanna get wealthy and we ain't got nothing to So I love the location that we were at today. I just thought it was perfect for, for the kind of song that I was bringing. There's something quite enchanting about the, the way the music starts and it's, you know, it's a little bit eerie but it's positive and I just thought somewhere quite spiritual worked well with it. And it felt just gorgeous to be honest with the cello and the piano. So yeah, I was really happy. I've had the best day with Shaw today. It is such a pleasure, the, nowadays as well, to do anything like this. It's like, what, amazing, I get to do my job. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been lovely. And to work with, you know, Lydia and James, who are always on cello and piano, it's just, yeah, it's such a treat nowadays to even be in a room with other musicians, you know. Um, and the whole team are lovely, so thanks for having me. <laughs>